Hi and welcome. I'm Mary Jo, also known as Sojo, and this is my channel where I talk about all my quilty stitchy things. This is my trunk show of my completed quilts, part seven. So this is the first one, or number 61. Now, I don't remember where I got this pattern from. I know it came from a quilt magazine somewhere, but I don't remember what quilt magazine or what issue. But it was quilted in this swirl pantograph on the long arm. We'll flip it over and take a look at the back. So this is the back of my quilt. And according to the label, I finished this in 2019. Now this is number 62. And the name of the pattern was Witch's Night Out by It's So Emma from Fat Quarter Shop. And I quilted it with a pantograph that had witches hats all over it. We'll flip it over and take a look at the backing. So there's the backing. And this one was just finished this year. I have showed this previously on some of my earlier videos um, for my weekly updates and things. Number 63. This is a table runner runner that was from the Spooky Box from Fat Quarter Shop. And it was also quilted with a witch's hat pantograph. Now, this table runner and the previous quilt, The Witch's Night Out, was the first time that I actually hand bound anything. This one was also finished just this year. And I've shown it on my earlier videos. And that's just the back of number 63. Now this is number 64, and it was from a sew sampler box from Fat Quarter Shop. And the patterns was called Sew Mates. Now when I quilted this, I just used like a loopy line on the long arm. I envisioned the loopy line being like a loose thread that was running through it. Whether or not I achieved that vision, I don't know, but that's what I did. Let's flip it over and take a look at the back. So this is the back of that, and according to the label, I finished it in 2019. Now this is number 65. Now, I know I used an Eleanor Burns video to do this. I don't remember the name of that pattern, but when I did it, I envisioned like a stained glass window. However, the star-like motifs with the background and the blocks didn't quite have enough contrast, so I think it's kind of hard to see. But this is number 65, and we'll flip it over and take a look at the back. And this is the back of the quilt. And it was quilted on the long arm with a large meandering stipple pattern. This is number 66. And the yellow brick road pattern by Atkins Designs was what I used for this. Now on this one, I used a fleece batting and I quilted it with a loopy line quilting on my domestic. <clears throat> now during or towards the beginning of my quilting journey, I did finish a lot of my quilts with fleece and no batting like this one, just because it was a cheaper option. I no longer do that, but I did finish a lot of my quilts like that. So there's a look at the backing, which is just like a pink fleece. Now this one also doesn't have a quilt label on it. I didn't start putting labels on my quilts until around 2019. So I believe this is probably older than that, but I don't know exactly how old. Now this is number 67, my candy quilt. It was also done using the yellow brick road pattern from Atkinson Designs, 
and it also has a fleece back and it was quilted with a loopy line pattern on my domestic machine. That was before the long arm. We'll flip it over and take a look at the back. And there's the look at the back with that blue fleece. And this one also does not have a quilt label on it. I know I did them both around the same time. Now this is number 68. This was actually a kit that came in a 10 by Moda. It was a Frivols 10 kit. And I believe the pattern name was Brio and the collection from the fabric was Bread and Butter by American Jane. Now I quilted this on the long arm with a flower pantograph. We'll flip it over and take a look at that back. So this is the back of that quilt and it has no label. So that leads me to believe it was completed sometime before 2019. Now this is number 69. And this is our Bargello pattern and it was called Cosmic Twist and it was from the Twist and Turn Bargello quilt book. Um, I don't remember her name. So the name of the designer and the author of the book is Eileen Wright. Now this was quilted with a pantograph called Drip and it was quilted in 2019. I cho chose this Drip pantograph because it kind of rem reminded me of like splashing in a pond and since with the blue and green thing it reminds me of water and pondish type things. Now, this Bargello's, well, Bargello's in general are my favorite type of quilts to make. And this is number 70. The name of this pattern was Garden Stars and it was from Missouri Star Tutorial. I used a pantograph on it called Drip, which is the same pantograph I used on that Bargello. And the reason I chose it again was because this particular fabric collection had something to do with a pond in the name of it. And I thought the Drip <laughs> motif, again, looked like splashing from a pond, like if you threw a rock or something that went into that pond. So we'll take a look, flip it over and take a look at the back. So that's a look at the back and according to the label this was completed in 2020. Now this is one of the few quilts I actually completed in 2020. I'd had a little accident which uh, <laughs> left me unable to to use the long arm for a while but <laughs> this was completed in 2020. So that is the end of part seven of my trunk show. But don't worry, I still have a few more parts to go. So until next time, bye.